Hey everybody, welcome back to Mechanical Pros. Today I'm joined with Mr. Logan Trapp, one of our top aftermarket account managers. And Logan is going to go into detail on a product we rep called Centratherm and all the great things behind that. So Logan, tell us about Centratherm. So today we're going to talk about what Centratherm is, why we should use it, some uses for Centratherm, and uh, we'll talk about some products they offer, uh, some different fittings and uh, some other accessories. Looking at what I've seen so far, it kind of looks like PVC, but I know that's not what the product is. Is that right? So it's actually polypropylene vent pipe. Uh, it okay. can sustain a lot higher temperatures than uh, regular PVC. Okay. Uh, Centratherm is the leading manufacturer of polypropylene vent systems. It's a material that's polypropylene and it's flame retardant. It vents Category 2 appliances and Category 5 appliances. And the reason you wouldn't use PVC in that instance mm -hmm. is PVC will melt, it'll bend, it'll warp. Uh, PVC is actually only rated uh, up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, okay. uh, where we can sustain temperatures of 230 degrees flue gas. Gotcha. Well, here at MRG, we've been using it quite a bit on our condensing boilers and had great luck with it. Absolutely. I know it's uh, cost effective compared to some other products. So what are some pros and cons versus like maybe a stainless flue like we're all used to seeing in industry and then going to Centratherm in place of that? So a stainless flue, uh, that's what we've seen in the past time, you know, very common. Uh, it's very expensive, mm -hmm. um, where with polypropylene, we keep this stuff in stock. It's quick lead times. Uh, it's very cost efficient, and it goes together very easily. Great. Yeah, one thing I've seen in the past um, in my residential life, do, running furnace calls, I would always see them using just straight PVC on a 90% furnace, and I think you've told me that's that's kind of a no-no. You shouldn't do yeah, that. that. Is that right? That's when you're going to get into seeing those PVC, you know, bend, wavy, sagging um, in the hangers, sagging, yep. um, not venting correctly, and then that comes into uh, an issue with safety. Right. Um, so that's why you want to use that polypropylene on 90% furnaces, also, uh, so we can withstand that 230 degree mark and uh, maintain a safe. You know, like you said, PVC is just not rated for the temp. But yes, yes, I know. I've personally seen it out there quite yes. a bit, and it's yes. just—it's crazy how much you do see yeah. the wrong product in the wrong application. It's a big misconception. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. So, um, you know, we talked about a ninety percent furnace residential. We talked about our condensing boilers. How? large connections can we do? What are the size ranges we could use this product? So Centratherm goes anywhere from two inch, like you would see on a instantaneous hot water heater, right. something like that, mm -hmm. all the way up to 12 inch for a condensing boiler. Gotcha. Now Logan, we talked a little bit about assembly process and we got a couple pieces here. Can you go through kind of just step by step how easy this thing is to put together? Absolutely, and this is where we have the advantage over the PVC. There's no glue or primer required, like we said. Use the Centratherm lubricant. So you'll take your, your length, you'll cut it to however you want it. Cuts very easy, saws okay. all, you know, however you want to cut it. What you do want to make sure you do, you want to bevel that edge. It comes with a factory beveled edge already, but you want to bevel it with a knife or a box cutter, something like that. It's very easy to bevel. Okay. Then you would take your lubricant, apply about a dime size dot. Smooth it around that edge to help it go in that gasketed pipe. Okay, I see. And this is that gasketed. This is that gasketed material. Okay, that's your that's gasket. Your, that's inside the gasket, the ring gasket there. that uh, makes this pipe UL listed. That doesn't allow flue gas to leak back into the area. Okay. And uh, that's how it all goes together. Then you simply just push it together. I'm not going to lock it in because once you get it together, it's hard for it to come apart. You want to be sure it's where you want it when it comes apart or when you put it together. No, Logan, I Should think you're telling away. me you can get it back apart, but you can get it back apart. It's a bit of a fight, um, huh? but it's a bit of a fight. It's yeah. not meant to come back apart. It's not meant to take apart. Once you put it together, uh, you need to keep it together. So rule of thumb: measure twice, cut once. Exactly. Yeah. And it's all—is it always kind of in a gray color? I mean, the colors don't don't change. It doesn't change the temperature rating, right? It's no, they do offer um, a black uh, pipe that is for outside once you terminate. Uh, okay. But it is strictly just for aesthetic purposes. This is still um, UV resistant, so it can be in the sun. Okay. The black is just for uh, that was going to be my purposes. question if they painted it for UV, but it's more just so it doesn't stick out yes. on the outside yes, of the sir. building. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Now, Logan, one thing um, when I was in the field, I'd always run into with condensing boilers was getting rid of the condensate from the flue. Sometimes was an issue. 
And then I would always, in the joints between the stainless, especially when I elbowed back to go into the boiler, I'd always get a lot of corrosion there. I know there's some benefits to the Centratherm. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. So in that situation, Centratherm offers the accessory of having um, a condensate uh, management system. So what they offer is a horizontal drain fitting. You'd have your main header right there, and then okay. you have your John Ball valve siphon that would connect to that, trap that condensate, and then allow that condensate to run away from the... Boiler. Gotcha. So we're leaving our boiler here, going outside, yes. and we're draining our condensate as it runs back yes. down and goes yes. in there. Gotcha. And you said this has got like a little ball check in it, yeah. huh? And yes, it just sir. basically is not letting the condensate flood back into the flue. Is that what it's doing? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Great. Any, um, once we get that condensate, then we can usually run it right to the floor drain as long as it's copper drain or something like that. Absolutely. So no issues Absolutely. there. That's good. That's good for the maintenance rooms, too. I know what you said there were some common lengths of the pipes. So when, when you were to order it, is it like 10 foot sticks, 20 foot sticks? Is that how it comes? So we, we have industry effective lengths. We go anywhere from 12 inch. We start at 12 inch, 24 inch, 36 inch, and 120 inch also. Okay, for the length of the pipe you can order. And then anywhere from 2 to 12 inch diameter but yes. in those lengths. Yes, sir. Excellent. So Logan, quick question. With this being polypropylene, are there any concerns with us running it close to a heat source? Like say uh, there's a second boiler and we got to snake it right by that boiler. Any concerns there with the temps? Yes, yeah, so this is zero to combustibles. Uh, that is the perk of having polypropylene material. As long as you know, you're not running up against a piece of uh, a boiler or something that's over 230 degrees. Okay. Um, but yes, it's zero to combustibles and it's corrosion resistant. So just don't have anything above 230 degrees laying up against it. Yes. Close yes, to it. Yes. Other than that, we should be good, which uh, I don't think the boiler is going to get that hot. Yes. But good thing, you know, there could be a steam pipe in there or something. So it seems very forgiving. We just don't want to have it laying right up against 230 degrees or above. You were talking about how we use a lubricant to pop this thing together and a lot of times we'll go do projects where maybe it didn't have a stainless flue and the flue's rotted and we're replacing the whole thing with the Centratherm product. Is there a wait time before we can turn that boiler back on? You know a lot of hospitals things do they need it running immediately? Do we have to wait overnight or how's that go? Since we're not using any glue or primers or anything like that, since it's just a lubricant and they have that patented uh, gasketed design, mm -hmm. uh, there is no wait time before you can start up your equipment. Excellent. As soon as, as, soon as you installed, install it, start the equipment up, you're ready to go. Excellent. That's a big factor for us for sure. So Logan, we talked about the different lengths of pipe and how you fit it together, and I see you've got a couple fittings here. Can you talk a little bit about each one of these? Um, it looks pretty straightforward, but I don't think it's, I don't think this is what I think it is. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. So here we have our 87 degree uh, fittings, and right here we have the appliance adapter. There's a lot of appliances out there already mm -hmm. that come with the Centratherm adapter made into it, ready to go. Okay. If it doesn't, if you have a, say, condensing boiler, uh, that doesn't have the adapter made into it, then we can get an adapter that attaches to the boiler to its OEM intake right. or outtake and fits directly to Centratherm. Right. It's not going to be a field modification. We can order what they need yep. to adapt right to whatever existing boiler yes, sir. they may have. That's yes, sir. great. That's great. That helps the guys out in the field tremendously. So Logan, you said this is an 87 degree adapter. Can you explain that and why that is and why it's not just a regular 90, what we're used to seeing? Like you said, we're used to seeing in the field with PVC or something like that, we see 90s. Mm -hmm. um, this is an 87 degree fitting instead of a 90 because it automatically puts that pitch on the pipe that allows that condensate to drain back to the end point or the boiler's condensate management system. Great, great. So when you come out of your boiler and you mount this up, your pipe leaving is automatically pitched back where you're going to drain all our condensate back to the fitting you showed earlier with the condensate management. That's really slick. That's a good idea. Really good idea. Again, helpful for the guys out in the field installing, it sounds like. Absolutely. So some other accessories that Centralerm offers are increasers and reducers and also test ports. Okay, so the increasers, reducers, I guess you mean like we got to go from three to four inch or vice versa. Yes, basically. Exactly, okay. Exactly. And then test ports, I assume you're talking about for the tech coming out there with this combustion analyzer to take a flu reading? Absolutely. So we have a test yeah. port that we can put right in front of the boiler. Uh, it comes with a cap on the test port. You take the nice. cap off, put your combustion analyzer on, and you can you know determine if that boiler is running correctly or not. That's great. There's nothing more frustrating technician goes out to tune a boiler or just PM it and you got to drill a hole in the 
clue pipe and Absolutely. put a screw back in it. I mean, it's minor league stuff. So that is excellent that they've thought to do that and that'll help the guys out again in the field. Anything that we here at Mechanical Pros here that helps our guys out in the field is a win for everybody. So it's Absolutely. great to hear. All right, Logan, looks like we've got another product up here, a T up here, and then this little thing here. I'm not quite sure that what that is. So I'm gonna let you explain what we got going on with this setup. So Centratherm offers a variety of termination options. So they go anywhere from offering flashing uh, that is specifically made for that size vent pipe. Um, and then they also offer um, a 90 degree, go out 90 degree for your termination, or they offer a termination tee. And then to keep anything from entering the flue pipe, uh, we, we've got a bird screen that we can put in that, in that okay. 87 or that termination tee. This kind of changes once the pipe gets bigger? Yes. Uh, so once the pipe gets above six inches, uh, then we jump up to a stainless steel bird screen instead of a plastic. Okay. Our center therm is still going to be the same. Nothing changes with the design of that. It's just we go to a metal screen yes, above sir. six inches. Yep. Gotcha. Great, Logan. We covered a lot of stuff on center therm. Do you have any other kind of tricks of the trade for installing this for the guy who's his first go round with it? Maybe he's done a lot of stainless flue, but this is his first time with center therm? Absolutely. Uh, one thing that's kind of a misconception, we want to be sure that we install the hangers on the pipe. That's very important. And you want to be sure you install the hangers to allow um, a quarter inch fall on the two through six inch pipe. Okay. And also a five eighths inch fall on six inch and larger. Okay. So that's your gravity fall for your drain, for your yes. condensate coming back. Yes. So we, we kick off out of the boiler and we're pitched already, but we might turn up and go another way or something anytime we do that when Absolutely. we fall. Yep, you want to make sure that fall is consistent and you do that with the hangers. adjustment on your hanger. It looks like there's a threaded rod and yes, that's sir. where you kind of raise and lower your hanger to get that height and that's cool. Yes sir. What about as far as uh, spacing on hangers? Um, is there a difference between the vertical going up the wall? Do we have to look for stuff and then horizontal? Yeah. So when you're installing the pipe hangers, um, you, you want to install these on vertical runs 39 inches apart and horizontal runs 78 inches apart. Okay. And that just you, If you follow those guidelines, you don't have to worry about the pipe sagging or any issues like that. Absolutely. That will correctly Keep her below them. 230 degrees. Follow the proper spacing. Pitch your gravity back for the condensate management and we're golden. Absolutely. Great. Excellent. Sounds like a really good product and I love it's easy to install and it's uh, more cost effective. We can get the product faster. Some other tools that Centratherm uh, gives to us and, and the users of Centratherm is they have an approval matrix and it's an Excel spreadsheet of all the condensing boilers, the other Category 5 appliances. Go through there and list whether that is approved to use Centratherm on or not and off to the side it also has what appliance adapter you need, whether it's auto automatically built in to the condensing boiler appliance, or if you need to take a separate adapter and put it on that boiler to be able to connect to Centratherm. Okay, so if, if I know what my product info is, model and serial, I'm guessing, yes. get that to you guys or whoever if you're looking that up. If you enter that info, it's gonna tell you right away, this is a fit for your product or it is not. And Absolutely. So another cool thing that Centratherm has is they have a BOM tool, and it's a vent, vent BOM is what it's called. Uh, what you do, you provide a stick drawing of how you want to run your vent or your intake, and you send that to us. You do it on Centratherm's isometric graph paper. Okay. You send it to us. We can draw that in the vent BOM tool, and then we can have it in a 3D drawing, and we can also have a list of materials of what fittings you need, what termination you need, what uh, you know how many how many of these brackets you great, need great, things yeah. like that awesome so you just provide you guys basic information a crude drawing with lengths on it you load it in the tool and it spits out a nice image with parts and pieces needed and yes and a better right. drawing great thing to present to customers probably. that's right and it makes it simple for the guys in the field installing it because sometimes the guys in the field that you know maybe they weren't bidding the job or they didn't buy the yep. material and how it's ran yep. so they try to run it a different way this is Cut and dry. Cuts all that confusion out. Just follow the, the drawing and you're good to go. Absolutely. Great. Logan, thanks for your time today. This great Absolutely. explanations. Really good product we've got out there in the market. You guys keep some ideas coming to us. We love talking boilers and all that things HVAC. So be sure to like and subscribe our channel. We'll get some more videos out there to you.